It says that. Apa apa pantu pali chongo ni ni vera chongo si ni vera zamene wakamba uko. Madiko ni muri kuti. It says that the Bible says it has eyes. Mai chibu kuno pantu ni kari kamba kuti. Iko kaka kaka kanya maaka kari na manso. Like the eyes of a man. Kari na manso ngati ya mundo. But see, these eyes represent intelligence. I am also, I'm a humiliated zen. Now here is the problem. It is man's intelligence, not, not God's. See, it is a human religious system based on man's teachings. There's a religious system that rises out of Rome. And in Daniel 2, 724, Daniel 724, Daniel 7, no 24. It says it is diverse. Meaning, meaning this. This is different from all the rest. It says he shall be different from all from the first ones. So, so this power is different. It's not primary primary a political power. It is a religious power. And they're mixing both. So it's both a religious and political power. But the question is, what would this power do? This power will attempt to change the very law of God. Look what the Bible says. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And, and can you think of anything greater than trying to claim the authority of God's law? Especially the Sabbath. So you see what the Bible says. And think. Daniel 7 25 to change times and laws. So this religious political power. They are trying to change times and laws. This power would attempt to change the very law of God. See, this is this is obviously speaking about the divine law of God. It's not speaking about tax laws or political laws. It says in Daniel 8 12 that this little horn power pass truth down to the ground. It did all this and prospered. So coming out of the Roman Empire, 